All right, so I thought I'd show how to put together a basic link budget spreadsheet. So here we have uh, Excel open and our link budget is going to basically keep track of gain, noise, and it could keep track of linearity uh, between the transmitter chain, the channel, and the receiver. And this is going to tell us if we're going to be able to close a wireless link to a first order estimate. Typically in a link budget, we might have some constants that we put at the top of the page. So I'm going to do a link budget here for say a Bluetooth signal that has a bandwidth of one megahertz. We can calculate the total noise power in that one megahertz by multiplying the temperature times Boltzmann's constant times the bandwidth and then adding 30 dBs to calculate or to correct uh, from dB watts to dBm. So for this one megahertz signal, we see that we have a noise power of about minus 114 dBm. Bluetooth operates in the 2.4 to 2.48 gigahertz frequency spectrum. Here I've set the frequency to the middle of that band, 2.44 gigahertz, and this gives us a wavelength of about 0.122 meters. We might also know that the transmitter after the digital to analog converter outputs with a signal to noise ratio of say 60 dBs. These are numbers that can be changed, the bandwidth, the SNR at the TX, and the frequency of operation. Now we have columns here corresponding to gains, noise figures, noise factors, the cascade of these numbers. We keep track of the signal to noise ratio at every stage of the transmitter and ultimately what our noise power is in linear units and in decibel units. We can make a basic lineup. So here I have a lineup of mixer, a buffer amplifier, a PA, and a filter, and I can assign gains and noise figures to these blocks. Of course, if I need more gain or I need lower noise, I can rearrange things, add more buffers, uh, try and uh, do thing, uh, try and add more uh, gain in the blocks uh, themselves, uh, etc. For this transmitter, we're putting in one milliwatt, so we're assuming that the transmitter, that the baseband transmitter outputs one milliwatt, again with a signal to noise ratio of 60 dBs. After the gain that we have arrayed here, the output will be about 63 milliwatts or 18 dBm. Here we have a basic channel model. I have gain for a transmit antenna and a receive antenna, and then I assume a line of sight channel. So my line of sight distance is 120 meters, and I can put a formula in to calculate what the path loss is for a signal traversing this path. In this case, we're going 120 meters. We have our lambda here, and the path loss would end up being about minus 82 dB. Now we can add extra attenuation into the channel. For instance, if we have multi-path, uh, different types of fading, uh, scattering, uh, any type of uh, dispersion uh, that might increase the attenuation, we can add some extra attenuation here. And we're going to, at the receiver, receive this 18 dB M from the transmitter plus the gain of the TX antenna and RX antenna, and less the loss of that line of sight path, we'll get our received power in this cell right here. And much like we did with the transmitter, we can array a line of receiver elements. So here I have filter, LNA, mixer, and buffer. I can, of course, change the gains for each of these blocks, the noise figures for each of these blocks, and I can keep track of the signal to noise ratio as I go through my chain. At the end, we can calculate the signal to noise ratio coming out of the last stage, and we can check to see if the signal to noise ratio is greater than the signal to noise ratio required to do the demodulation. Here I set this at about 12, 12 dBs, and you can see that indeed our signal to noise ratio is high enough in this case. We can also do a calculation to see what the maximum noise figure allowed in this receiver would be. 
And you can see this is a fairly narrow band system, so it's fairly easy uh, with a, a relatively low uh, SNR requirement. So it's fairly easy to close this link. Of course, we can make this much more challenging if we have a wider bandwidth signal or a signal with more complicated modulation. Uh, anyhow, this is the basics of putting together uh, a spreadsheet for a link budget analysis. Uh, you can Google them and find uh, different forms of these. Uh, this is a simple one that I put together. Uh, obviously, we can do things uh, to try and, and increase the complexity, uh, adding some drop-down elements so that people can uh, select uh, different gain lineups more easily than having to insert rows or columns. Uh, but uh, you get the basic idea of what this should look like. All right, so I'm going to stop there and I'll talk to you next time.